I'm Anita Haberman, CEO of the Surrey Board of Trade. We are Surrey's city building business organization, making Surrey an opportunity city. During this pandemic, Surrey's business community was tested. We must face the reality that many businesses didn't make it during this pandemic. Our labor market intelligence reports state that one in 25 businesses shut down since March 2020. We closed our offices at the Surrey Board of Trade on March 16th, 2020. We did not know what the future held. We worked from home and we helped our members. We worked 12 to 14 hour days and through the Rapid Response Pandemic Business Center at the Surrey Board of Trade, we helped our members, we helped Surrey's business community to ensure that we were your concierge of connections, to instigate action at the different levels of government, to ensure that you had access to the different government supports that you needed. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are entering a new phase towards economic recovery. And the Surrey Board of Trade is also here for you during this phase. But let's not forget the past because we've learned so much. Let's be bold, let's be ambitious. Let's hear from some of our industry partners on what they faced during this pandemic. We didn't know what the future was going to look like with the pandemic. We were quite concerned, not just for my own family, but the 20 plus staff members that we employed. They live in Surrey. I know their families. Most of them have children and they all have bills to pay. So that was one of the things that gave me the courage and the energy um, to keep going every day. So March 15, 2020, that's when, you know, lockdown happened. We ended up closing for two weeks and I did have to end up, you know, laying off my staff. And that was the most heartbreaking thing for me because like, oh man, <laughs> um, because they rely on this. They, they need this to, to live their life. I wake up October 31st to an email that says I tested positive for COVID. And that was absolutely devastating. And again, we had to shut down for that two weeks, had to cancel everything, had to cancel all these orders that we had. We were really open about it online, on our social media platforms, and the community really, really showed up for us. And if they had to cancel their wedding cake, they said, no, you, you keep it. I don't need that back right now. You pay me when you're ready. I can't ever say thank you enough. Like I, I'm such a broken record on my social media saying thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. At the beginning of the pandemic, the hardest decision I had to make was laying off my staff. Um, they show up for me every single day. They show up for my customers every single day. Um, they were ready to work, but to keep everyone safe, um, it's just a decision I had to make. Almost immediately, we were one of the first businesses to close. Um, I made that decision. None of my bills were going away. Um, I wasn't able to access any government assistance, so it was me and this little store. My community showed up in a way that I could have never, oh, that makes me emotional. <laughs> yeah. One of my business neighbors, he almost immediately bought a, a large gift card uh, to my store just to give away. When those things started to happen is where I found some peace. On behalf of the salmon farming sector, we'd like to thank the Surrey Board of Trade for your continued support. You were there for us in our time of need and we thank you very much. Thank you Surrey Board of Trade for helping Sunrise Kitchens during the COVID pandemic. You helped us when we needed your help. Thank you Surrey Board of Trade for supporting our clients that were negatively impacted in the various industries by the pandemic. You stood up for them when they needed you the most. Thank you Surrey Board of Trade. You helped us when we needed it most during the pandemic. Thank you Surrey Board of Trade. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you wholeheartedly for guiding me through these pandemic times of how to run the business through these tough times for the, since last year, how to get close to my clients. So I'd like to uh, thank you again for your pandemic response, always being there for our needs as members of the Surrey Board of Trade. Keep it up, you're doing a great job. Thank you.